Welcome back. We are here looking at the foreign exchange market and we will start off by looking at the Great British Pound and the US dollar. And uh, we'll do our recap of what basically happened last week. So uh, we were talking about this bullish flag that was uh, forming and has been formed for uh, a few weeks now. And uh, we basically broke to the upside. Um, so this um, 20 moving average, this blue line here, which we were talking about, um, has been acting as uh, support. And now on last Monday, we basically exploded to the upside. So this has all to do with uh, the US dollar basically depreciating even more. And that is causing this pair to go uh, parabolic to the upside. So we have had two bullish flags. We had one down here and then we have this one here. And now we're just going to go much higher. So we at this point, we are fairly overextended. Uh, we can, you can basically see the, the Bollinger Band here. We are basically way across the over Bollinger Band. And if you look at historical patterns, we can see here every time we go this far across the Bollinger Band, we have a fairly significant uh, pullback. The same goes for here. We have these um, two green granite candlestick and these uh, two red candlesticks. And every single time we go basically past this, Bollinger Band, this significantly, we have a pullback. So expect on Monday that we'll have a fairly uh, uh, um, significant pullback, but this is not a sign of uh, of shorting this market. Um, probably day trader scalpers are going to uh, take profit from this uh, fall on Monday, uh, but this is a market that will go higher. Um, and the right, uh, the right tactic here is basically buying the dips. So expect this market to go around half of this uh, candlestick, which is 1329, uh, something like that. And, um, and then it will continue higher. So if you look at the RSI, it's pointing to the upward trajectory, it's not overbought, it's not oversold. We have crossed the signal line for the MACD. The same goes for the uh, stochastic. All of these indicators are fairly uh, bullish, but due to this historical uh, pattern of every time this uh, crosses the over bullish band and have a pullback, expect a, a pullback on Monday. So at this point, we, if you look at uh, where we go from here, we can see that we have crossed this resistant area. So the next real resistant area is all the way up here at 1451.2. Um, after that, we have to go all the way up to here, which is 1435. So if we go past this, it's a res uh, resistant area of uh, 1350, then we'll go all the way to this resistant area of 1333. Um, yes, so if you look at the US dollar yen, uh, we had a massive pullback on, on Friday. So I remember um, Last time I did this video, I said that we would, you know, we had a few resistant uh, these moving averages that we were behaving as resistant, and that the most likely pullback will come at this green area here, or green moving average, which is the to the hundred moving average, and. And the reason why I said that is because historically. Uh, the 100 moving average has been significant uh, resistant um, and that worked perfectly. We hit the um, this uh, 100 moving average and then we basically exploded to the downside. It fell all the, almost, well, uh, over 1.5% uh, and that is a really, really nasty candlestick. Uh, if we look at the... the 
at the technical indicators, we can see that MACD is about to cross the signal line, indicating that we'll go lower. At this point, we'll probably go all the way down here at to 104. Um, we are not uh, oversold at this point, so we'll probably go significantly lower. We can see that we hit the lower Bollinger Band, uh, and we did not have um, a significant pullback. We did have a pullback, which is usual, but it's not like we had a pullback to a half here. Uh, we had a, a minor pullback, which is an indication that we will go lower. We'll probably see something like this pattern play out, um, and we will most likely uh, retest these lows of 104, and if we break that, then we'll go much lower. The next resistance that, um, after this is basically all the way down here at 101. Um, the stochastic is also, we are about to cross this uh, signal line indicating that we will we'll go lower from here. So not a market that you should buy at this point. Um, uh, I'm shorting this market um, because that's where we technically are going. Gradually, but we're going down to this area at some point uh, this year. So if you look at the US, uh, the euro and the US dollar, it's very similar to the, to the great British pound, the US dollar. We have, we have um, a few, uh, back in June, we formed this uh, bullish flag and broke to the upside. Now we're forming another bullish flag and we still, we haven't broken to the upside yet. We are running into resistance in this area of 1190. Um, but uh, because the US dollar is depreciating so much and it, that it will fall even uh, more uh, than, yeah, the, in the next uh, few weeks and probably also months uh, due to, the, uh, due to the, the actions of the Federal Reserve, then this market will go higher. So I anticipate this market to break uh, this resistant area um, similar to the uh, to the great british pound and then we'll go higher and the next resistant area uh, is all the way up here it is at 12 uh, 41 and uh, yes that is going to be our next target and just wait for this to basically break and then we'll go higher if we go lower on probably a month no not a monday but but if we go lower this uh blue line the uh, 20 exponential moving average has been a significant support all the way back to uh to uh the end of may so short-term pullbacks are a buying opportunity we haven't even gotten close to the uh, 40 exponential moving average, uh, not alone, or even the 50 moving average. So uh, this um, blue line has been fairly reliable. And uh, if we get close to that, that is a buying opportunity. If we look at the um, technical indicators, we can see that the MACD is about to cross the signal line, indicating that we'll go higher. The, MAC, the RSI is pointing downwards, and not overbought, not oversold. Uh, the Bollinger Band is at the top of its range and probably have a pullback from here. Uh, and the stochastic is pointing upwards. So at this point, the technical indicators are all over the place. We have two that are, there, we have two that are fairly uh, bearish and we have two that are very bullish. So that is not a lot of uh, not a lot of help here. Uh, but because of this bullish uh, flag pattern here and we know that uh, that the uh, US dollar index is uh, depreciating at the moment it is just a matter of time for this market to go higher so I am a buyer in this market because that's where we are going Aussie dollar US dollar uh, we broke to the upside fairly significantly I I expect a pullback on Monday uh, mainly due to this. So we completely uh, 
bashed the the Bollinger Band and are way crossed the over Bollinger Band, and um, that is an indication that will go go lower. You can see we did the same thing back in. This is uh, where is this is back in 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 July, and uh, we basically broke down before then going higher. So expect uh, a pullback on Monday, but um, as long as the U.S. dollar is depreciating, this market will go higher. We can see that uh, MACD crossed the single line and it's going higher. We are fairly overbought at this point, uh, and we are crossed the, significantly crossed the, the Bollinger Band here, and the the stochastic is about to basically show well similar pattern like this one. So expect a pull back before we go higher. Um, this market is trending upwards fairly slowly, but very reliably, reliably, sorry. Um, this blue line, the 20 exponential moving average has been significant support for a very, very long time. We can go all the way back to, to the beginning of April. Um, and then, <clears throat> the price action has basically been uh, fairly correlated with the with the twenty exponential moving average. So every single time we get even close to the exponential, this twenty exponential moving average is a buying opportunity. So expect a pullback from here around to around half of this area. So zero uh, zero point seventy two, and that is a second. Um, uh, that is a buying opportunity, which will be basically this area here, which we uh, support. So looking at the US dollar, Canadian dollar, now I need to to uh, to close this range. I forgot to do that. So we are still uh, trading within this channel, which I can uh, draw again. Um, and People that have been following following me on this, uh, following me uh, my videos, know that I absolutely love uh, trading within channels. So the U.S. dollar, Canadian dollar, for a fairly long time now, all the way back to the beginning of July, has been trading with this channel, which basically have been a ping pong ball all the way, or basically in the downward trajectory, for more than a month now. So. What I love about channels is that they're so predictable. So every time we go to the highs or the, the, this um, this support, uh, resistant trend line here, uh, it's a selling opportunity. Every time we go to the bottom of it, it's a buying opportunity. And then you just go back and forward, back and forward, and so on. Um, I remember on the last video, if you look at that, at my last video, I said that we're going to hit the top of this um, resistant area here, and then we'd go down. And we didn't go down uh, all the way down to the to um, to uh, to this support uh, area, but we are getting close. Um, and if you look at the technical indicators, uh, we are not uh, going to go higher at at this point. Um, we are continuing this downward uh, channel um, and basically all the indicators are showing the same thing. Uh, the Bollinger Band, uh, the stochastic is really, really, really uh, bearish at this point. Um, we're not oversold and we are uh, underneath the signal line and not crossing it yet. So we're just waiting. I just wait until we get close to this line, and that is basically a buying opportunity. Wait to the goes to, uh, to the top of this line, and that is a selling opportunity. That's why channels are fantastic to trade. Fantastic fun, fantastic reliable, and and so on. So uh, if we were to break through this um, this uh, support area here, then we'll go significantly lower. I don't really have it on my chart, but probably, yes, we have it here. This will be probably the, our target of uh, 12.94. Uh, um, until then, yes, 
uh, as long as we're trading this channel, then then that is going to be uh, my tactic, uh, buying and selling. Of course, if we break uh, the top of this, then we will go higher from there. So I hope you find this uh, video uh, helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by clicking the support button, uh, subscriber button, I mean, uh, the like and the bell button if you want to see our newest videos. Um, good luck and thank you very much. Thank you.